We're having a debate here today uh, on free speech and hate speech. We see a lot of uh, hate speech legislation coming up in different European countries. What is hate in the public debate? And once you look into it, it's actually very far from being clear and no one agrees on it. Freedom of speech is the basic principle, uh, also uh, the condition for keeping democracy in the EU. In Europe, freedom of speech is not absolutely unlimited, because there is some speech which is prohibited by the laws in all the member states, and so we have to work with both principles and balance properly. I think the Commissioner is advocating a kind of middle ground, which is a typical uh, European thing. I would say this is between the two extremes. On the one hand, if I simplify the American approach, which so far has been based on the First Amendment of the US Constitution, not intervening at all, and it has led to a number of issues in Europe, but also in the US. On the other hand, there is a risk of censorship by national governments, which I think it's fair to say all the panel uh, today uh, opposed. I quote many experts from Europe and from international agencies who say, based on the actual experience of enforcing hate speech laws around the world, they, for all of their good intentions, are at best ineffective in suppressing hatred and discrimination and stereotypes typing and at worst they're even counterproductive not surprisingly the laws give an enormous amount of unfettered discretion to those who are enforcing them and not surprisingly that discretion is used disproportionately to perpetuate the, the status quo the powers that be to suppress dissent to suppress minority viewpoints and voices possible overreach by certain laws in the field of discrimination can never be a justification for restricting free speech. In the end, the battle of free speech doesn't take place if you post cat content, but where it's close to the frontier where it becomes illegal. And this is the place where all the people in the centers where they erase illegal content have to make a call. Do I want to face a fine of up to 50 million euro or rather take it down? And that the answer is evident. They will take it down and this is why it's unconstitutional because nobody will take the risk. Nobody will battle for your remark that is on the border of what is legal and pay with his, with, with his own money for it. Hate speech online is a testing new phenomenon and for me it's important uh, to realize every time we work with this topic that the law is the basic principle and uh, the law which applies offline must apply also online. I'm in agreement with the Commissioner on the fact that there is a lot of you know, uncivilized um, uh, speech out there. What we disagree on is what is the means to remedy this. I think the means to suppress, to censor, to say, well, we need less speech, we need to kind of you know, cut it down, suppress it, delete here and there, um, is just not helping to remedy the problem. On the contrary, when you look into history, those um, countries, regimes that have enacted uh, laws that rit restricted speech have had the most terrible um, history. The worst is to kind of push messages we disagree with, including really extremist messages, into the underground. The solution is certainly not there. The solution is in having a more open and more robust debate. <laughs>